Hi there. So, I've really missed making videos and so I wanted to make one for you today. And it's gonna be a little bit challenging with the extra noise in the background, but I think it will also make it even more relaxing for you. So, I hope it's okay. So, as you can see, we have a nice setup here for yoga. And this is actually a yurt. And currently the fire is going just over there, which is the crackling noises you can hear. And where the sun is shining on me is one of these windows that is open and you can hear all of the birds and I can see all of the greenery around. It's really, really beautiful. So, we're hoping to set up some yoga classes in this yurt and I hope to maybe bring you along in some of the classes that we'll do. Um, it's going to take a bit more work yet to get things finished um, because I'm working in a cafe that's right next door also. So we kind of use the year in our spare time on our days off and today happens to be my day off. So anyway, um, I don't really have a plan for this video but I wanted to talk to you and let you know about some of the things that's been um, happening here in the yurt and some of the things we've been doing. So last night we had a little sleepover in the yurt um, and it was really nice. I had some kids in here and we were singing songs and we made some pizza <laughs> and um, we told some ghost stories <laughs> and um, yeah the the feeling in this year is one of well we want it to be a healing sort of um, space and I know that I will want to use it to have some alone time and make some videos and all of these things. So there's also a little hole in the ceiling that you can look at the stars at night. But it's a little bit cold yet to do that. So, there you go. You can see. It's really cool. Um, the stars are so bright here at night time. I was lucky enough to go to uh, a bridge nearby and look at the stars all night. 
and I saw lots of shooting stars and I even saw some stars exploding so that was cool anyway um, I think I'm gonna do some chanting with you today I've been practicing a lot more with uh, mantras as well as the affirmations and um, just singing in general because for me it's something that um, I don't do very often and it's um, something that I feel I need to do more often so maybe it's the same for you you know um, I think when we are younger we just sing instinctively but um, when we get older we feel embarrassed so There's some really nice nature trails around here So um, I'm going to take you with me Maybe today, we'll, we'll see The sun is really nice and bright So that's a good start <laughs> um, The different birds you can hear um, obviously some of them are pretty much native to New Zealand and I find their songs really um, uplifting because I just haven't heard them before I'm used to birds from England that sing so I really notice the bird songs here <sighs> So, I found out the other night when I was um, doing some singing and chanting that there's um, a lot of power in chanting something over and over again. Now, it might seem a little bit um, repetitive but that's the goal is to be repetitive and something happens in your body where and in your mind where I mean okay my personal experience was that when I was chanting this mantra over and over again I was also uh, tuning in with my body to the sound of my voice and to the sound of the harmonium which is something we'll play for you at some point and it was like unlocking a different part of my mind that I hadn't unlocked before and it was being done by sound a bit like how you're listening to me now you might be enjoying the sounds of the nature and of the fire and of my voice and it was very powerful and I want to get back to that place of just serenity maybe as crazy as it sounds you can do it with chanting <laughs> and um, so I think what we'll do is start off with well known chant which is Om and um, see where it takes us from there Okay, so 
The main thing with a mantra or chanting chanting is to really feel the vibrations in your throat and the goal is obviously to understand what it is you're saying so OM is the universal creator the the beginning and end of everything and all things it's, it's God basically is what it means and the key is on a singular level um, is to feel it sort of healing your your throat and opening your throat chakra and then also is to let it go out into the universe and feel as though you are making music just for the universe and all of these things together in mind they take you to a very peaceful place so let's try it together Just for now, listen to the sounds all around you. Whether it's in your earphones or maybe you're in a busy, loud place, just try and notice those sounds. And then notice the sound of your breath. And then what I'd like you to do is bring your palms together up to your sternum and just feel the energy in between your hands and as they touch, feel the sensations that it provides. I can't do it because I'm holding this microphone but you can do it and it doesn't matter whether you're lying down or sitting because we're just practicing for today but if you were wanting to do it properly then you would straighten your spine and then you simply need to feel the vibrations hopefully coming up through your neck here and vibrating out of your mouth but in order to get some power behind that imagine chanting from your navel point and letting that be your center focus okay so after three We'll chant together. One, two, three. Deep breath in.
best practice would be to chant for longer of course but just to get started today we'll just do three ohms now there's another mantra that's a little bit like namaste um, but of course namaste is used a lot these days and sometimes we lose the meaning a little bit and it is called the seed sound and it is sat nom sat nom and this basically means well sat means truth and Nam means name or identity. So I'll put those together and we get something like true identity, truth. Truth is your identity. God's name is truth. So we can um, practice that for a little bit. I also have these um, counting beads or prayer beads here. And I believe there's 109 of them. I will double check actually. Let me count them for you now. And, um, and the number 109 is significant because um, there's a few reasons. Um, one reason is that there's 109 gods and goddesses. The other reason is that Earth is both 109. I don't know the length or the measurement, but let's say leagues, 109 leagues away from the sun and 109 leagues away from the moon. So it's a sacred number that I didn't know about until I counted them and thought, hmm, I wonder why there's 109. Hmm. You know, maybe I'll show you outside because it's so beautiful and I can't stop looking out. But first, let's practice the Sutnam and it is the seed mantra and it reinforces the divine consciousness in everyone. Use it as a greeting any time, any place. So that's why I kind of referred it to Namaste, because Namaste is, I see the divine within you, I, I know you, I, I am you, something like that. So it says, by saying Sutnam, to each other, we acknowledge the highest consciousness in each of us. For that moment, we are relating as soul to soul, and we are truly one in the spirit. So, linking the breath with Sutnam is one of the easiest ways to maintain a constant reinforcement of self-awareness. Truth is your identity. So we'll do three sutnams together, okay? So
Wherever you go, whatever you do, remember, Sutnam lives and breathes in you. Okay, let me show you the view here. So, that's a little bit of the yurt you can see. And now, I will zoom in on isn't really the biggest mountains you have here and because it's now getting warmer we don't have any snow on the mountains anymore there may be some but There's not been many cars or dogs barking today. We've been lucky. <laughs> Let's turn it to these ones just here. You can see someone's house. Zoom in. There we go. Probably more like a hill, actually. <laughs> so, I have my binaural mics with me, and I'm going to do some tapping on this drum. <laughs> 